Government has a fiduciary responsibility to invest in its most treasured resource, its people. Over the last 50 years, essentially all of our nation's productivity gains have gone to the elite and upper middle class while effectively flatlining real worker wages for everyone else. Communities of color are in the aggregate behind white communities on pretty much every indicator of economic health and prosperity. The mission of this committee is to offer solutions to help point the way to an America in which the color of your skin is not such a powerful predictor of your prosperity. Racial and ethnic uh, pay gaps persist even after accounting for factors commonly associated with individual productivity and have in fact gotten worse over the last 40 years. Less than half of the observed black-white difference in average hourly wage is explained by differences in education, experience, or geography. Some of the main factors presume to determine pay. Such persistent economic disparities hurt the community and our overall economy. Latinos have incredible resilience and fortitude. But I urge you to imagine the contributions they could make to the economy if our community had a fair and equal opportunity to thrive and participate. As the economy does well, everyone does well, and as the economy does poorly, frankly, um, the most disadvantaged are the most harmed. A lot of the issues that we are talking about way down the road, those problems, those challenges originate early, and we have to revitalize those mediating institutions that you and I benefited from to ensure that young people even have a shot. What is critical to note is that it was never the case that a middle class simply emerged in America. Rather, it was government policy that provided the finance, education, land, and infrastructure to accumulate and pass down wealth. Poverty really is a political choice. We, we choose to allow poverty to exist. In other words, we have the mechanisms to literally eliminate it. Our collective impact is more powerful and enduring than one of us alone. We know that when diverse people come together to solve problems, the result is more innovative, more inclusive, and yields more productive solutions. We believe that a truly diverse and inclusive economy benefits all Americans and is the thread that binds our economic goals. We must work to dismantle barriers that have prevented Black Americans from achieving the American dream and to identify public policy and business practices to encourage and assist every American to reach their economic potential.